So welcome back to my FC Porto Online Divisions gameplay series where I will play a full season to test the team out in competitive online games. I'm Vic your host and this is the third video of this series. In the first four games of the season I've won one, drawn two and lost one. So I'm currently at 907 points. I'm gonna need at least a draw to keep the spot and I'm gonna need uh, a draw and two wins to promote so I'm still very much alive with six games remaining. If you haven't seen my FC Porto tactics video you can do that now to get an in-depth view into my tactics before you start watching this game but enough talking let's get into the fifth game of the season. So for the fifth game I will also face Bayern, but for this game I will actually have everyone, so I will start with my starting 11 for the first time in this series. No! Are you kidding me? What did he do there? Oh my god, he was through! I can't believe it. Pepe doing there. Let's try to cross it in there. Oh. Oh. See here, it's perfect. It's perfect. Come on. Why is he slowing down? Have you noticed that when you play sometimes for loose balls, and your player actually slows down? The closer to the ball he gets. Okay, so it's closing in on 45 air. Come on. No, 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 no. So it's goalless at half time. I'm not gonna do any changes, but I have some options on the bench here. I could do Otavio, I could do. Romario Baro and I could do Eva Nilsson in the second half, really depends. What a freaking first touch, are you kidding me? There we go! Finally Marega can do a pass. Let's get him out, out of there. So my opponent has gone real offensive and put forward an extra striker, so this should give me plenty of space to go on counters if I can get the chance here. Here we go with Romario.
There we go. Taremi with his second goal. What? Lewandowski is out of this world. He is insane. Come on, guys. Kuroma. Okay, this is really dangerous. Let's stop it. So we pick up the win, two goals from Taremi, and let's go take a look at the tables. So that takes us to 1402 points, and we secure the spot, and now we can focus on promotion. We have five games remaining, so let's go to the sixth game. So for game number six, I'm gonna face off with Juventus. I have everybody in good form. Uh, but I'm gonna do one change to my lineup. I'm gonna put in Luis Diaz as the left midfielder instead of Nakajima. There we go! Come on! Uh -oh. Wow, what a save! What a freaking save! Come on, come on! There we go. Why are you passing all the way back there? Oh man. Foo 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 foo. If I end up losing this game. Come on. Oh. I'm not gonna do any changes yet, but I'm probably gonna do some changes in the second half. Okay, so I will get Felipe Anderson out of there, and I'm gonna go with uh, Otavio. And I've also swapped in uh, Nakajima for Diaz. Jesus Christ, guys. Look at this guy's formation. <laughs> really?
so I lose 2-1 and it puts a dent in my promotion ambitions but still 4 games to go. This was a pretty good opponent. So with 4 games remaining I'm in need of 598 points so a win and a draw should be enough. So you may want to stick around for the 4th episode of this series where I play games 7 and 8. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.